hub mate. Check this one out. So you've got the little switch there, the latch, which holds it on, but then once you click it, so obviously this fits the Milwaukee pack out. Couple here just to sort of set this up. Got sent this from Tubmate and wanted to see if it'll fit in the Pajero. I think this is the mini. Got to figure out exactly where I want it before I do the installation. The slider is really nice. Really, I'm just worried about this part here. If I'm going to have two stacked up, see how well this clicks in. I like that sound. I think that's really close. We might just move it back just that little bit. Then we've got plenty of room back here. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Make sure it's sort of straight. So these are the fixings we've got here. A couple of those little inserts. We get the insert gun from dad tomorrow. Where are the drill bits? I've got a bag just full. That sounds pretty good. By the way, how good are these bags? Legit. These are years old now and that is the bag. Look at that. That's how you're meant to keep them, yeah? To keep them nice and sharp. Half years is sitting at home just cringing. <laughs> I need to buy a new set. Half of these are done. I, I, I struggle throwing them out. That's pretty damn close. I think that's the go, that's the go. Dude, this thing is cooked. Oh, that's bang on. All right, we're good to go. Day two, picked this up from dad. I hit him up about some of the tools and he used one of the manual ones, said it was just an absolute pain in the ass to get these things. He said the alley ones aren't too bad, but these ones, a little bit harder. It's just a Renegade one, that's from Trade Tools, pneumatic. We'll turn this on, should be fully charged. This is still a dud battery. Charge that up, uh, better plug it in. Plug that in, ready to go pop. Better make sure this is hard up against it. I don't know, just didn't feel like there's no little pop or anything. I just thought there'd be more of a bang. Oh really, that was just uneventful. <laughs> so this thing's absolutely dead <laughs> just after that. <laughs> Putting this thing away. We'll go get something real. Whew. Okay, so that felt 10 times better. I don't know what it is, don't know why. That's sitting at about 110. I think the Milwaukee was up to about 130. Yeah, that feels way better. We'll redo the other one. We're all done. Feeling good. So I've got some of this stuff, which is basically rust proofing. Look at that. We're all gooped up. So we'll stack this up. On a bit of an angle. She's all clipped in. No worries yet, there's nothing in them. So we'll throw a bit of weight on and just see what it can go. This says up to 220 kilograms, so I'll have no worries.
if you really want it. Oh. I'll work this out. I think that's, like you're not gonna really be putting too much more on it. Oh, that definitely doesn't fit. Just thought I'd throw it on there just for a bit of weight. Probably put a slim line on the top. Still slides extremely well, exactly like it did without the weight on it. It's easy enough to move around, locks in, locks out. Always wonder how long these locks last. Yes. Definitely see how long it lasts, but looks all right. All the finishes are nice. So for those that are wanting to see rollers a little bit closer, I don't know too much about rollers, so you can let me know what you guys think. Get to that easy enough. Get to your smoko. Get unclip it. Get it out. Same with this, obviously easy enough to clip it in work out of the drawers. So there's all your batteries. I'd almost like two, two sets of drawers. I could probably do that. I think I've got all my drawers at work though. So get your main tools out. Batteries, hand tools, M12. I like it, I like it. That's not bad. I'm pretty impressed. That's really nice. Let me know what you think.